The ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter is celebrated worldwide on March 14th, a.k.a. Pi Day. But today, November 15th, we're celebrating a different kind of circle. It's Pi. How Star Wars is it? Well, hello there, Mike. Hi, Josiah, and welcome to you all listening at home, on your commute, at the gym, or at your school. (laughs) Or next to the fireplace, not doing anything else. Right, sitting idly On the old-timey radio. I thought Um, you were going to say it first on your computer, and I was like, whoa, uh, if uh, anyone listens to a podcast (laughs) on a computer, who are they? I mean, I do if I'm working on my computer and my headphones. That's true. I guess if you're you're at the office or whatever, that makes sense. Um, but welcome, um, everybody, to How Star Wars Is It? It's the only podcast, and it's the podcast where we rate and review uh, anything and ultimately everything um, yes, on a scale of 1 to 10 forever. of how Star Wars that thing is. You know, so That's Star Wars right. movies, they get high scores, and say drinks tend to get lower scores. Uh huh. And so we take everything Star Wars, we put it all into one big pot, we mix that pot together, we put it on the on to boil and we take that down to a simmer and that's the Star Wars chili. So that's a 10 out of 10, right? You get it? You got it. Right. And so we, we compare things to that 10 out of 10. Now we have done many foods in the past. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> foods I think are one of our go-to sort of like cheat code ones. If we haven't watched something right. fun recently, you or know, we realize it's like Sunday afternoon and we're recording on Monday night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We know we need um, to talk about something that we already have an established understanding of. What were we talking about? Sorry, listeners. We had to go talk about something for a second. Uh, You're we're just talking saying about, how the we've chili works. Foods. We've talked about Ooh, a lot yes. of foods. Yeah. Most recently, tacos. That's right. <laughs> um, we've covered uh, birds are kind of like a food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them are, for sure. Buffalo wings. Uh, right. Just so this is our, I, I feel like we've probably done other desserts even, but maybe that's not right. Yeah, that's what I was, I, I felt like I had a memory. I was trying to find candy. We've done candy. That's yeah, kind that's of desserty. Dessert Pizza. Because I feel like we've done, have we done cake? I don't know. I'm like, that's why I'm scrolling through. Uh, McDonald's is sort of food. Ch- chili. That, that is classic. It's funny mm-hmm. that we did that. McDonald's has pie. We've done this show for a long time. We really have. Uh, I'm yeah. We've never, we've never done pie though, but we've done a lot of foods. Yeah. Famously, our pumpkin spice latte episode is very popular. Yeah, famous. We've done drinks. It's um, known the world. But this over. week, well, known the world over. This week we're talking about pie though. P I E. Uh, today. Now, do you want to know why pie is what came to mind yesterday? <laughs> I do want to know. Two reasons. One, it is the season of pie, I would argue. You know, Agreed. pumpkin pie starts rearing its head in October, and then it's a big uh, Thanksgiving staple. You know, there's pecan pie. There's all sorts of mm-hmm. pies at Thanksgiving. Is Thanksgiving the piest holiday? Yes. And I'm then the other and... reason I say that it came to mind yesterday is um, we had pie at my house. <laughs> we, Good. we had first slice delivered the other day first Ooh. slice is just down the street from us and it's a pie bakery but they also have like sandwiches and meals and coffee and all sorts of different yeah, things yeah that's a good but spot boy oh boy I, i'm generally not a huge pie person or i don't think of pie first as like the dessert of choice but boy oh boy we had this polka dot cheesecake pie from there mm. which is like it's got polka dots on it which are like chocolate like circles and it's like Whoa. made of cheesecake consistency, but on a pie crust. It was oh, so hell yeah. good. That sounds amazing. I, I am a I am a pie guy. Like my favorite desserts growing up were and, and Thanksgiving remains a favorite holiday. Um, you know, c- colonialism aside, uh, tr- food traditions definitely a favorite because mm-hmm. of because of pumpkin pie. Like pumpkin I was yeah. I am a pumpkin pie boy. It's the one. I go so hard for pumpkin pie. Yeah, me and too. I realized uh, in my adulthood that my mom like makes really good pies. Like I've had mm. pies elsewhere, um, not, which like restaurant pies are normally good. Like bakeries are normally good, obviously. But like, you know, 
she just is really good at making pies. And I, I helped uh, during quarantine during 2020, I like sort of learned parts of the process and I got to help her uh, uh, make the crusts because oh. she would make homemade crusts. Um, she's just a really good pie maker. And so, Damn. yeah. And so like, I have Well, been you're from the South spoiled. too, which has such a pie tradition too. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And well, that's it's what's funny is that like, you know, the pecan pie is like very, uh, very Southern. Um, but we would opt more for a pumpkin for mm -hmm. the holidays. But then mm -hmm. nowadays, uh, most of the time there'd be a pumpkin. Well, most of the time there'd be two pumpkin pies because uh -huh. she had because she had several teenage boys in the house. Yeah, and then who were all were like, I'm gonna eat all this pumpkin pie before anyone else can get any. Yeah, and if I know also, anything about teenage boys, is that they all love pumpkin pie. <laughs> well, I should, I guess, not that as much as just eating a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, all the teenage boys in my house did love pumpkin uh -huh. pie. Uh, so you know, circles and wait, uh, squares and rectangles. Um, sure, but the. <laughs> We'd always have a pecan pie as well, and honestly, love them both. Can't get enough. She started making non-dairy ones for me oh. when I when I got older, which is like uh, that's uh, it was a lifesaver because it's hard to find desserts that are non-dairy. Yeah, that's funny. I almost asked you, do you have it with whipped cream? But I imagine you probably don't. <laughs> I have it with a almond whipped cream sure. or a coconut mixed whipped cream. You know, there's options. They're not as good. Have um, you had pumpkin pie with pecans in it? No. So we we oftentimes would also have like a pumpkin pie and a pecan pie, but my grandma would make um, like two different pumpkin pies, and one had like diced pecans in like the I almost oh. called it the field, like you might describe a flag. <laughs> the actual like <laughs> mixture of the pumpkin goop has like crunchies in it of of pecans, That's fun. which is delicious. Yeah, that that sounds good as hell. I'm I'm gonna try to make one. Uh, at least one. I'm going to try to get my mom's recipe and see if I can fake it as much as I can. Oh, nice. Because it's kind of fun. I mean, you, your family lives relatively close by. So yeah, right. Do you, do you get to go home for Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything? Uh, yeah, this this year actually uh, we'll probably go both to Indiana and Las Vegas for Christmas. And, and oh, yeah, that, for Not Caitlin, probably, huh? but that is what we are going to do because um, traveling is a bit easier now. And last year we didn't go to either place. Um but yes, Thanksgiving we are going to Indy. The sort of issue with having a larger family that's especially all spread out is like we have to kind of trade off years, especially since all my other siblings are married. Right. And like you know, I've been in a relationship for a couple of years, and I've done, I've been at Charlie's for uh, like Christmas, like at one point as well. Um, Do you remember so it's like the hard start of that? Like when the oldest sibling. Um, wasn't able to come home for some reason with a relationship or with whatever else. Yeah, I was do. It, I, was it ugly? Like, was it dicey? <laughs> it, well, it, it, it was It was just, like, sad, you know? Yeah, like, right. Like, and honestly, I think it was more sad for the sibling, like my older brother, you know, because yeah. he was the first one to not be able to come home or, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and, like, I think he was just, like, he was really torn up because it was, like, you know, first Christmas not getting to be with family. Mm -hmm. And we were all also sad but we also were getting to be with most of the family you know so i think it was like harder for for him um and like i i bring this up because two things i have been lucky to get to go at least be with my parents for every uh holiday since even after i moved out of texas mm -hmm. um and even after everybody moved around but then 2019 was the first time i didn't have thanksgiving with my family um which was interesting but Char charlie was there which was nice and then this year she i will was not with be able your to family yeah it was i was like why'd you go without me <laughs> this is really mean um but then this year definitely not going anywhere for thanksgiving so it's going to be another like mm. friendsgiving you know charlie I hanging know. out and i'm going to try to make some some of the because i do love the thanksgiving food so much i'm like i gotta try to do at least some of it yeah um but yeah i don't know i this is not a Thanksgiving episode, though. Have we done a Thanksgiving we episode? We did. We did it um, as like a tack on to our live episode we did at uh, IO that one time because right, right, it was right, only right, like right. a half hour. So we talked ahead that. of it and at the end of like, oh, and uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So pie, we could do another proper if we need to at some point. Yeah. Pie, I think, is more of a, is less of a uh, a more universal and less. Right. Um, well, and talk about squares and rectangles. Like Thanksgiving has pie, but pie does not necessarily equal Thanksgiving. I was just about to say that yeah. that we are our American sensibility of pie is sort of unique the world over 
because yeah. most people when they're talking about pies are talking about a meat pie mm-hmm. or some kind of like flaky flaky crust fill like savory filling that you can like carry around and hold. Yeah, I mean like there there's there's that in so many different cultures probably all invented simultaneously or independently like empanadas and samosas yes. and uh Yes. turnovers whatever other like hand pie type thing and even just like a classic like uh uh you know british pie is like a meat pie you know it's just yeah, like right. you got some really really and like sweeney todd you know the whole that whole deal is making pies but mm-hmm. it's like not but it's you know the, people aren't made of apples what you with know, the price are, of meat what it is if you get it yeah well, when you get it when you get it um, if you get it yeah yeah if you get it uh i liked that movie i did too um, it was my first I, exposure to the musical and in fact i haven't even seen it staged and haven't really me listened either. to the cast album of the what's her face version um murder she wrote angela lansbury angela lansbury yeah but uh, uh, yeah i liked it <laughs> I, I was the same. I was like in high school and it was cool and mm-hmm. it was like aesthetic and I don't know. I, I, I got kicked to out of that movie. <gasps> I think what? I told that story S- on here Singing before. along? But uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I went with friends. We were in high school and I was going to turn 17 in like a month or two. And we thought like, we're not going <gasps> to oh, yeah. get like fucking carded at Sweeney Todd. And everybody yeah. else was either a senior and I was a junior or just older than me as a junior. And uh, I think we were probably annoying piece of shit teenagers and other people in the theater, I think, probably narked on us. Because, like, who's looking, you know, like, yeah. are you kidding me? They're not, I, they're not IDing you on the way because in. Because we, the- what did we do that, I wonder if it's that we also didn't buy tickets. <laughs> That's probably, yeah, that <laughs> might Because I think it. they do card you when you buy the ticket and then you're good. Um, and I think yeah. maybe we snuck <laughs> snuck in and I was underage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, this is a double whammy. Yeah. I remember, th- this is making me remember, I didn't see it in theaters because I was al- I was also not old enough because yeah, it was rated say, R. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was rated R. Couldn't see it. And I remember this. So, this is so stupid. I we, we were on a choir trip, I think. It was either a choir or a theater trip. And it was like a night off where we weren't, um, I think it was either a stop along the trip where we were staying in a hotel Mm -hmm. to not have to drive like the full 10 hours in one day or it was like we're we're here and we had the competition last night but the awards or whatever aren't until the next day one of something like that and so we had a night off and we were like went to the mall and the had a movie theater in it and the director you know whichever one it was was like yeah everyone pick a movie uh your options are sweeney todd um and I was like, not old enough. And also it was rated R. And I was like, Ugh, I don't want, and because even our director was like, you can probably go to Sweeney Todd if you want to go to Sweeney Todd. Like they were uh-huh. like, there's, if you want to go to Sweeney Todd, it's rated R, but like they knew the show, right? And they're like, it's just going to be bloody and there's going to be like some stuff, but like right. you can go if you want to. There's but I was like, like being, penetration. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's not like, yeah, there's not like full frontal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but being the good Christian boy that I was, I was like, well, I can't break the yeah, law in any way. In the eyes of God. Uh huh. And so I was like, the other movie option that was there that night at that time was P.S. I Love You, starring Gerard, the romantic com- comedy about Gerard Butler dying oh. very early in the movie. And the someone like Amy Adams, some redhead probably, <laughs> going around trying to. Oh no, who is it? It's not Amy Adams. Uh, someone like Amy Adams is a oh, great it's Hillary, sentence. It's Hillary Swank. So Got I wasn't it, okay. entirely off. Hillary Swank going and <laughs> trying to find. She, she is. Re, he, he he like left her a bunch of notes, at, like after he pat like before he passed away, and so she's like sort of looking, like on this like quest or whatever of like love, even though he's gone, and she's like sort of finding new people and new men and like a new man in her life or whatever. And that movie was so bad and boring that I, it was the only movie I've ever fallen asleep in. <laughs> like it didn't it didn't help that I was tired. Uh-huh. Like and I was like a sixteen year old watching this like kind of heavy romantic like uh-huh. not, it's not even romantic comedy like it's a drama. And I truly actually <laughs> fell asleep in it. And I was like, man, I wish I could fall asleep in more movies because that is yeah. a power move 
that I wish I had the ability just to like decide like I'm gonna sleep now actually I'm, I'm just picturing like the description of this episode already it's like episode 100 whatever pie Mike and Josiah talk about um, P.S. I love you and Sweeney Todd <laughs> and getting kicked out of and falling asleep in each movie those those movies are like irrevocably linked in my yeah, mind really because funny. of this really like dumb I wonder if they even came out in the same year like what if I'm making this up and they didn't even come out in the same year <laughs> 2007, P.S. I love you. Um, yeah, that's right. No, they did. They both came out in 2007. Yeah. Good. The the thing about getting carded or like not being able to uh, go to see a movie reminded me of another story where like for my for my brother's birthday one year, he he was in like he was in college and he was on a kick of like he was like I'm a film buff. You know, I'm gonna watch <laughs> every Best Picture nominated or just like Best Picture winning because yeah. that would be way too many movies. Yeah, right. And he was like, I'm a film buff now. And like, so for his birthday, he wanted a DVD of Goodwill Hunting. And so I was like, <laughs> so I went to the entertainment store, Hastings was what it was called. And I picked out Goodwill Hunting and then I purchased it. And then I realized after purchasing it that it was rated R uh-huh. and I had bought it and I was not old enough. And I was like, they just fucking let me buy this Do movie. I have to go back. Yeah, I was like, should I, should I go give this back <laughs> and tell them that they made a mistake and committed a crime? <laughs> <laughs> they sold, a crime. An, sold an R-rated movie oh to a child. God. It was <laughs> oh my God. Uh, crimes. Um, speaking of you, you mentioned you know pies are uh, not necessarily just the American version, which tends to be a sweet dessert, but in fact are also like savory. There are all sorts of different things. Is that Star Wars? Um, or no. I don't think there's a version of Star Wars no. that's specific to a country, other than the sense that like it comes from America and has like an American sensibility, I suppose, in the way that all Hollywood movies do. But yeah, I, it doesn't feel that way. I mean, I guess you can make the argument that maybe that's starting to happen because of like the anime series that came out, which is kind of right. You know, a different version, but because it's well, so and, global, like, books and animated shows that like only some people watch. Yeah. I do want to say, though, that I did just look up... What's interesting is that we already know that the American pie is, like, bye-bye. This American pie is, like, (laughs) different, is the outlier as far as pies go. Because Uh. the literal definition is a baked dish of fruit or meat and vegetables, typically with a top and base of pastry. And, like, the pumpkin pie we've been talking about, pumpkin pie doesn't have a top. You know, like right. several pie, several fruit pies don't have a top. Yeah, like there like are a lot of chocolate pie, like like yeah. f- chocolate silk or whatever it's called. Like coconut cream pie. There's mm-hmm. a lot of there's a lot of American key sweet pies pie. that don't key lime pie. Let's keep going. Uh, well, we we shouldn't go too hard because of the game. <laughs> Um, Good. I love when that happens. What? Um. So okay, here's a Star Wars thing oh, that I think okay. gives it points. It is. Um, it it weirdly is a Jacob Edward. You have to choose. Do you like yes. pie or cake? And in fact, Mike, Paul F. Tompkins was... has an incredible stand-up bit about pie versus cake. I was. I need to look that up because I love that guy. Yeah. I was literally just about to say that big fat fucking opinions. Yeah. Where for some reason, yeah, for some reason, it's like, well, which one's your favorite? It's like I like sweet treats in yeah. general. And in fact, uh, it's it's the same thing of Star Wars, which is like you do or you don't like Star Wars. And then there's the yeah. thing of like comparing it. To to say Star Trek, like cake or pie. And then there's also yes. like within pie, within Star Wars, there are like big time pumpkin pie haters or like fruit pie, ha- you know, like some people don't like yeah. fruit as a dessert, for example. I yeah, so I, think I think the, the might... opinions gets like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, for sure. I think that might be Charlie. I think she, cause I, I was thinking recently, I, I like was talking with someone who doesn't like hot fruit mm-hmm. you know like in a pie or whatever and it might be charlie I have to i'm very sure, mixed but. on it i you know like if there's like a chocolate cake that has like a raspberry drizzle or something that's fine but like i kind of don't need fucking fruit as my dessert <laughs> well you know what, what else as someone who likes to bake um not necessarily pies all the time but you know i i used to make a uh uh, this is not a fruit, but it's similar. Similarly, in, in my mind, I used to make a sweet potato coffee mm. cake, mm-hmm. um, and it was about you know, there's like one big old sweet potato in there, 
and everything else just sugar you yeah. know like just different <laughs> yeah. variations of sugar and flour right and so i feel like that way with pie too i'm like yeah there's fruit in there but like that fruit is sitting in a lot a lot of sugar <laughs> yeah, right. so even though it's already apples apples are already sweet to an extent cherries are already sweet to an extent yes but then you put them in a pie i would even like, say more than to an extent those fruits are very sweet by nature yeah <laughs> as far as fruits go they're pretty sweet in fact um, like from a nutrition standpoint you know like the 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 thing these days of of carbohydrates and sugars and even like natural sugars as you know for for things like ketogenic diets like you can't mm -hmm. eat an apple for example and like yeah. from a like your body absorbing energy standpoint whether whether you're running your energy tank on sugars like carbohydrates or fats if you're like you know not eating carbs for example your body thinks like a piece of cake is essentially the same as an apple <laughs> if, yeah. it's, if it's like trying to grab energy out of yeah, it. Yeah, and so, which, yeah, the, the, which is all to say, eat whatever you want. Totally. Because it doesn't matter. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your body can't tell. Um, no, it is funny. Like, I, I do like that, like, you know, the idea of fruits and veggies is important. And obviously, like, you know, a straight up apple is probably going to be not as hard on your stomach as a cake like with a, a bunch piece of piece of cake. Yeah. yeah, with a bunch of sugar and and flour and processed right. ingredients, you know. And an as apple has like just, fiber and skin and everything. Right, yeah, yeah, it's skin and teeth and you know and stuff like that. <laughs> Spooky scary skeletons. <laughs> and uh, but the cuz I even like with um like when you're making an apple pie like normally you use like a granny smith cuz you're using a tart one uh -huh. because it's going to end up being so sweet like if you make like same with cherries like cherries aren't that sweet out of the box sure, like that's, they are that's true. but there's a tartness to it and that's the fruit you have to cuz if you put in like I don't know I'm trying to think of a fruit that's like just straight up sweet and I'm like I don't think that a pie of that would be very good yeah that's a good point because like if you did a I don't know a fucking pink lady apple or something <laughs> it would be like this is not good it's uh -huh. too sweet is I that named in... after the grease characters yeah rizzo invented it she it, genetically I mean, like, it, it must be right like what other pink lady is there i don't know it's a good or, question or is the apple pink and and it is curvy <laughs> uh it's yeah it's got it's and got it has eyelashes, eyelashes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big lips and eyelashes it's a real um it's a real uh veggie tales esther situation uh -huh. so <laughs> the crips so this the pink the pink lady is a cultivated variety of apple also called uh -huh. the crips pink uh, so it was bred by Crips uh, in Australia. Which is by also the name of a gang. The Pink Ladies also, are a gang yes. and Crips are a gang. Uh, yes. So it, it was made by crossing a Lady Williams apple and a Golden Delicious. Ah. Um, which I, Golden Delicious are not good. Yeah, you know um, what? They both, you know what they aren't? Golden, nor are they delicious. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 I think, one of the worst apples. Yeah. Uh, so I guess the the name is then it ended up being pink and then it had it came from the Lady Williams and so that's its mom was Lady. Its mom was Lady. Its dad was Gold Delicious. So yeah. it didn't take its dad's name because he sucked shit. Right, right. Because if you if the Golden Delicious he, he was related out. to you, <laughs> yeah. If you if your dad was the Gold Delicious, you also wouldn't take his name because he sucks. He's a bad <laughs> <Yeah>. apple. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to be known. I maybe, don't want to be anything to do with you. Maybe lady like wanted to make a career in Hollywood and thought delicious wasn't like a like bankable last name. Yeah, she didn't want it to be accused of um, she nepotism. Did, she did the Jonah Hill, Natalie yeah. Portman. Uh, uh, I mean, she, most celebrities. <laughs> yeah, like Nick, Nicolas Cage, every single yeah, celebrity. Tom Cruise, I um, think. Yeah, the, the pink lady, because like pink lady, she took her mom's uh first name made it her last name and then just got rid of the dad yeah. and then said i am pink this right. is who i am yeah <laughs> so yeah this is a deep dive man genetic uh like the fact that i i, I I'm, like gmos can be tricky with big companies because big companies are liars um mm -hmm. but it is funny that people when people are like I only eat natural things. It's like, no, you don't. Nothing we have is natural anymore, guys. Right. We've been, we've been, we've been growing. You can't apples. have an apple in December. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been growing apples for like centuries now. Yeah. So like the original apple is gone. Like, I'm, I'm certain we've said this on here before, but um, I think it, I want to say it was the movie Forks Over Knives, which is that like it, it's the movie that made me vegetarian for like five years. 
Um, but they and and it might not be that it might be a different one but some documentary i watched in college as like a natural recycling composting like dork uh was like we no longer have fruits and vegetables we have the idea of fruits and vegetables yeah which is very yeah i know like (laughs) like you you used to like in our parents and grandparents lifetimes like not be able to get raspberries certain times of the year (laughs) yes yeah, the fact that we can get pretty much... I mean, there are still seasonal shortages of certain things, but like... You can't know, get pumpkin ale now. <laughs> can't get pumpkin ale. And, but like, yeah, the, the, the fact that we can get whatever fruit we want at whatever time of year yeah. in whatever part of the country right, right. is wild. Like, if you didn't live in Florida or like the, the hot parts of yes, Texas and right. California, you couldn't eat an orange look for at, a long time. Look at the Wells time. Fargo wagon. And once yeah. I got some grapefruit from Tampa. <laughs> and a double boiler. <laughs> uh, best part of that show. The, uh, double, and a double isn't boiler. Isn't a double boiler just like a pot inside another pot? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I am obsessed with that one line, and I've never thought to learn what a double boiler is. <laughs> I think it's when you like melt chocolate in one pot, but that pot is in like a different pot of hot water or whatever. Yeah. It looks... It, everything I'm seeing here, it just says... <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, it's just two pots. <laughs> <laughs> you could just make your own double boiler with a little pot inside a big pot. Yeah, that's funny. I the, double boiler has big. Um, my favorite parts of musicals are like the weird, uh, like little uh, inner like it's small yes. lines that yes. random characters have. Like the Courtney, take your break. Yeah, in Legally absolutely. Blonde, they're they're which, all over the place in Wicked. The one I'm thinking of in uh, Pippin is in the uh, the opening song, Magic to Do. Um, one of the like ensemble people has like they all have a bunch of different lines of like what you're gonna see in the show and one of them is illusions fantasy <laughs> to study <laughs> and that guy is like I think just a, a man in the ensemble <laughs> what I want to do is because th- there was like this sort of meme style of thing yes, going around yeah, for a yeah. while that was Christopher compilation. Columbus Yes, the cr- compilation of Christopher yes. Columbus's and then a couple other ones. Caitlin and I will go like, down r- that rabbit hole like every three or four months. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're great because it's 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 like it's not mean spirited. It's just funny seeing a lot of amateur actors make big or yes. stupid choices. It's just, it's just the most embarrassing part of a song taken without any context. You know, anytime yeah, because, you you are so compelled to sing, but then you are even so much more emotional that you have to stop singing and just shout. <laughs> yeah, and you have to and you have been given the lay on of the worst exclamation <laughs> yeah. in, in like media in anything in literature, I'd I guess. Saying, like I'd be so happy I could melt. <laughs> Yes, from yes. from the wizard and I. Yes, because that's yes. another compilation that's just so funny because it's, I want, it is a moment when she stops singing and just like yells. <laughs> I want a uh, I want a compilation of <laughs> of uh, double boiler double, of double boiler <laughs> and a double boiler <laughs> because I think there's I'm pretty sure there's a compilation of Courtney Take Your Break. Yes, which is, there is. Was was my f- yeah? Hold on. There's also Marie the Baguettes. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, God. I've seen this on TikTok, too. Marie the Baguettes is good. You've probably seen this, but I just want to... And I might even rip this audio and put it right in the... Uh, um, oh, the, the Legally Blonde, like, promo yeah. video? No, the, oh. the Courtney Take oh, Your Break okay, yeah, compilation. Yeah, yeah. Um, because the first one is, like, this poor girl. And it's really good. <laughs> When I was in Legally Blonde in college, we did we did it, and like the girl who did Courtney Take Your Break every night, I told her I was like, I'm off stage looking at you and watching this because it's my favorite part, and it was. Oh, and I yes. did every this, night. This is from the video of like this is this is <laughs> this seems to maybe be a shorter version of this video. Uh, oh oh this this is the compilation. Okay yes Th- this first one is pulled from like this whole number was shot on like someone like with a tracking camera of this production and like every girl is like a, a young child except for L is like yes. <laughs> like 20 or or 17 or something um, have you seen it no i don't think oh so oh my god just uh, go ahead just, just go ahead and listen to this first take your break Courtney, take your break. <laughs> this this video, I'll I'll try to find it for you to show you just like the whole thing. But it is 
so pitchy and off rhythm and just like everything about it is bad the camera work is bad <laughs> yeah it's just so funny oh i got sorry everyone i'm just gonna spend the next five minutes watching courtney take your break <laughs> the show is over but um like the, i'd be so happy <laughs> i could melt compilation is great but the uh, wicked has just so much of those moments like um yeah. dancing through life has probably five different versions in it yeah my definitely. favorite is and i want them to do a compilation of this is and in fact i want it to be the whole back and forth three line scene of say what's the most swankified place in town that would be the odd dust ballroom <laughs> sounds perfect <laughs> god i i love Wicked. Uh, Me too. <laughs> I, I. It's not my favorite musical. I've seen it somehow three times live, <laughs> like at the touring production, uh -huh. and I cried my eyes out every time. Yeah. But it is still like not my favorite musical, and I really don't listen to it ever. Yeah. But ev literally every time I've seen it, I've wept, <laughs> and I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, why do I love? Like, I love it. I obviously love it. Yeah. Um. There is not a and a double boiler compilation. So, <laughs> listeners, if you love me at <laughs> all please and you have any kind of video editing skills uh -huh. and you have access to a lot of high school productions of music, of music man, man please please fine i remember in yeah in high school chandis yerby saying and a double boiler and i similarly <laughs> told her i was like this is my favorite part of the show so like just so you know i'm listening uh, to this part they're just so good they're so funny uh i love it anyway i don't know how we got so i don't know i, how I don't we know how we got here either, about musicals we should probably go to the break right yeah let's go to the break okay cool. yeah let's do it i think the game is short enough that we can really go in deep on star wars cool let's freaking do it yeah we and yeah, we're we're Pumpkin pie. I was telling Mike there's um uh there's also more videos of bad productions of in, in the Heights where everyone's white. Um that people have bad accents that are also very good. So also good on TikTok, it's fun. Uh whatever. We're doing we're doing the game now though. Yeah, and I'm pulling it up. Uh one sec. Okay. <clears throat> um and now I don't even remember what the article was called, but we're gonna do uh to steal from Doughboys, the family food. Oh. And this is family feud style. I, from uh, the Epicurious website, found um, percentage of most popular pies in, um, I, I think, America. I mean, let me actually double check because we've okay. made the point to say that, like, internationally it might be a different story. Um, and a double second. boiler. Uh, it's a good fucking shit. I love it so much. Um, okay, here we go. I'll just read their uh, uh, little blurb. <clears throat> this is from 2008. <laughs> Great. This oh, is timely. No. I mean, I can't imagine it's like changed that much. It's not like, yeah. it's like science, you know, like they established yeah. it and it's not going to be like that much different. But it says, um, on the eve of the National Pie Championships in Florida, it turns out that America's favorite pies are the old tried and true ones. And then it yeah. says... Um, Apparently, the results of a nationwide poll by Schwann's Consumer Brands North America surprised even them. When asked what their favorite pie, or their three favorite pies were, people chose, and then I won't say what they were. Um, blah 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 blah. Let's see. Um, so this is like percent of people polled said these were their favorite pies. It's the top eight favorite pies in America as of 2008. <laughs> top eight. Oh, you know what? I've got 10, actually, if you want to do the top 10. I do want to do the top 10. I, I looked this up on my phone yesterday, and the website was being a pain in the ass where it like it would cut off like half of the screen, and I couldn't like zoom it out. But now That's I've got it up on my annoying. computer. So you can talk with your family uh, and and... Uh, say what you think is on the board. Top ten, top ten pies are on the board. What if I just Google hang out my family real quick, <laughs> guys? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba I actually, ba -ba -ba -ba. I remember like watching the Family Feud probably when I was like homesick and being like, I like this show it's good. idea. Like, I, it's one of my favorite, I think, game show premises. Yeah, yeah. It's like a good trying one. to think like the masses is is a fun idea. Yeah. Okay, hit me. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Top 10 pies. All right. This is going to be easy. I think so, too, probably. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a list then, for myself. Then let's so do this. I have the top 10, but let's only try to get the top five. Okay. Pumpkin. Show me pumpkin.
Ding! Pumpkin is number two, America's yeah. favorite pies. Um, apple, for sure. Show me apple. Ding! <laughs> yeah. Number one. Number one with a bullet with 47% of people saying that. Whoa. They need to eat other pies. I mean, apple's good, but like... Venture out. You oh, know? hang on. the The article actually says, when asked what their three favorite pies were, people chose apple pies a whopping seventy two percent of the time, forty seven percent for plain apple pie, and twenty five percent for something else that might also be on the list. Interesting. Okay, so wait, apple was number one, pumpkins number two. Yeah. Uh, pecan. Show me pecan pie. It is number six, and I just said we're going to do the top five. So that's an no. X. <laughs> no! Fuck me. But that, you know, that's high on the list. That's pretty high. Um, I also don't know how I say that word, because I think I said it differently earlier in the episode. Mm. Um, I think I say pecan. Yeah. Pe- pecan? Pecan. I don't know. Fuck. Okay. So when I was apple- a kid, I was in Spell Bowl, which is not really the spelling bee. You're on like a team. Um, and and like science bowl, I was in science. Bowl. Oh, okay, yeah. And the the word reader <laughs> pecan was someone's word. I don't think it was mine, but it was someone's word. And the word reader said word number three, pecan, also pronounced pecan, also pronounced pecan, <laughs> also pronounced pecan. <laughs> yeah, that one's like there's no point yeah. in trying to say yeah. all the pronunciations. Just don't of- use that word. <laughs> Yeah, it would be a bad one for a spelling bee. Also, like, I I love, I mean, we, etymology corner, I love words like that where it's like there's not a correct pronunciation. It's uh-huh. just like, I don't know, how do you say it? Because truly, I mean, I'm from Texas. Pecan I don't know what the, solo. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't know what the, like, suppo- like, the in general Texas pronunciation is. I don't even know what the, like, in general Southern pronunciation is. I just know that every time I say it, I'm pretty sure I say it differently because I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. <laughs> Because I'm like, is it pecan? Is that what I'm supposed to... I'm from Texas. Am I supposed to say pecan or like pecan or pecan or... I don't know. Sandy Um, from SpongeBob is from Texas and she says pecan. Barbecue pecan pies. I think she says pecan in that one song. In that song, she says pecan. Hey, are you sure? I had the album. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this was the... I mean, I'm not... You're probably right. Um... Barbecues and pecan pie. She said pecan, right? SpongeBob and Patrick try to bring Texas to her and they make peas in a can pie. So they right, right, right. must have at some point heard a pecan, but or or maybe Wait, interpreted then that it makes, as hold on. We're looking this up. Um because this this was the only we only had one season of SpongeBob on DVD, and so and this episode was on it, so we watched it a bunch. Uh-huh. So I just want to like I want to go ho e o e o e o. She says pecan. She does. She says pecan, not pecan. I've been shown up. I shouldn't have. I mean, you you came you you brought a knife to a rocket launcher fight. <laughs> yeah, I, sh- I, I I as the guy who didn't watch SpongeBob, I shouldn't have tried to yeah. go up against someone who has that acumen. <laughs> um, what was I? Hey, okay. Patrick. What am I? Stupid. No, I'm no, Texas. Texas. What's the difference? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so you got apple and pumpkin on the board. We need three pecan, more America's favorite pies. Let's see. Cherry. Show me cherry pop. It is number four. Yes, it is on the number board. Number four. Okay. And that answer warrants accolades. Because <laughs> uh, warrant is the band that... Oh, thank cherry pie. cherry pie. This is like the second time we've referenced the band uh, Warrant uh-huh. in recently. Because oh yeah, because we said something about like she's my pumpkin pie recently. Yeah, we? we said they should be a seasonal variant. <laughs> that that song's begging for it. Right. Wow, I'm wondering what's in between the two and three. Apple, pumpkin, and then cherries number four. Well, in fact, nothing is between two and three. Sorry, three and <laughs> two and four. Uh, what's two and a half? <laughs> Let's see. Wow, I said this was gonna be easy, and I can't think of any more pies. Um, sweet potato pie. Show me sweet potato pie. Eh. That's not even on the it's, top ten. And now the uh, the Gutierrez family is looking to steal. No. <laughs> what about rhubarb? Eh. 
No, in fact, the uh, the article after the top ten lists. That's right. No strawberry rhubarb, and then it lists a couple other ones that were like surprises to have not been on the list. Oh, what about just like coconut cream? No coconut cream. Fuck, I'm already out. Yeah, but that's key lime. True, but key lime is number nine. Jesus. You're looking for number Chocolate. three and number five. Chocolate, Chocolate cream pie is number three. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll give myself that. Yeah. That that would have like if um yes if if like someone's answer was like making love, the thing would turn over and be like whoopee. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Woohoo from the Sims. <laughs> um, there's a which like when yeah. I was a young man was like. I'm gonna make him have woohoo, and this is gonna be so hot. <laughs> uh, which I didn't get The Sims until I was in college. So that just kind of goes to show you like my whole journey. Uh, gosh, what other kind of pies are there? Cherry, pecan, key lime. Okay, cheesecake. That, that's not really a pie, though. No. I don't think that doesn't count. And uh, I'll, I'll go back to the thing I said earlier. Uh, Americans said 72% of them said apple was their favorite, but that broke down to being 47% saying plain apple pie, and then 25% said this, and this is number five on the list. What what's what's else can is an, is with apple pie? I don't pie? know if I've heard of this, or I mean, it didn't it didn't like hit my ear wrong, or I guess my eye because I read it, but um, apple crisp. Oh, you had the first two letters right. Apple. Crumble. Yeah, apple crumb pie is what this is. Okay. Says, which, like, I feel like I kind of know what that is, but that feels like it, it's cheating. Yeah. And then number six is pecan. And then uh, you didn't get number seven. You didn't get number eight. And you didn't get number ten. Nine was key lime. Do you want to go for seven, eight, and ten? Yeah, yeah. I want to sweep. Um, seven <laughs> is probably, or I'm not going to, I guess, call that shot. <laughs> One yeah. of the other ones is, I'm trying to think what all pies I've eaten in my life. I don't know. Uh, some I'm kind stunned of... by how many pies there are. <laughs> yeah, honestly, me too right now. Uh, pear. Pear pie is not on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Peach. Wow, peach is number 10. I don't think I've ever heard of peach pie. I've heard of, like, peach cobbler. Yeah, I think I've had a peach pie before, but it, peach cobbler is definitely. Well, a and more I mean, common. like, I know what it would be. <laughs> right. L imagine a pie crust, <laughs> and then I had a friend in college who didn't like pies because he was from Canada, and so he didn't know like sweet pies, you know. And he said that when he when he had his first one, he was expecting that the crust would be sweet too, like a cookie or uh -huh. something. And then when he ate it, and the crust wasn't. He was like, "What is this? <laughs> this sucks." Which I think is a, a funny reason to not like a pie. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's the delivery system. Exactly. It's like saying you and don't like, like sandwiches because the bread is bland. Yeah, it can't all be sweet. <laughs> right, right. Okay, key lime, peach, pecan, uh, bra brambleberry. <laughs> not brambleberry. There are two Blueberry. more in there. But what's that? Blueberry. Yes, blueberry is number eight. And number wow. seven is Blackberry. another fruit. Blackberry? No. Boysenberry? No. Uh, it's what other poison fruit? berry pie? <laughs> oh, hemlock pie, mm -hmm. uh, nightshade pie. Uh, what what is another kind of pie? What's I will fruit? say this too. Other than the word pie, it's a two word name. It's a fruit, but the oh. way the fruit is prepared is the other word. Oh, chopped <laughs> apple. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Naked apple. Nope. It's not apple. <laughs> uh, <laughs> orange. And That'd I'll say this: the fruit name comes first. Banana cream. Uh, no, actually, that was one of the other ones that the article was like aghast was I not on the top I can't believe that 10. that's not on here. Banana is there? Is it banana? Mm -mm. Is it? Tell me what fruit it is. Well, I can't because you'll get it from that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, split pea. That's it's not, not a fruit. split pea pie. <laughs> go go <laughs> down the list of fruits on like a picture of fruits. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. Let me just look up some fruits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna Google fruits: apricots, uh, blueberries, banana, cherries, blackberries. Wow, this is a fun question. What are all fruits? I names? mean, this is like a like 
Google image fruits, it's it's a candy oh, fruit, you know? Like, I should look at an image like I see. Okay, any sorry. candy, any like candy... Pineapple? Fruity, this is one of the flavors. Grape? Nope. Strawberry? Mm-mm. Watermelon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple? No. Again? I'm just but looking at pictures of... But that is a perfect improv suggestion. <laughs> I am, it's, it's, it's true. I am looking at a bunch of just like aesthetic pretty pictures of fruit right now um and trying to think of like flavors of fruit of candy uh so like it's not grape Mm -mm. it's not banana Mm -mm. it's not lime Mm -mm. it's not lemon it is lemon (laughs) oh lemon (laughs) lemon Mike is trying to like pull it out. <laughs> it's lemon a French bo- word. Lemon meringue. Yeah. <laughs> lemon meringue, number uh, seven on the list. Wow, I said that was going to be easy, and I did so <laughs> poorly. <laughs> we just oh. named all the fruits for a while. <laughs> yeah, well, I can keep going. Let's see what else we got. Cherry. You did uh, that. <laughs> Chinese date. Cornelian cherry. Cranberry. This is a very comprehensive list. Cucumber. This is from a YouTube video oh, called wow. 100 you know, I, most... I should have read the rest of this. Art. Well, the article was f- fucked up on my phone, but um, it says other polls in the survey, uh, an online poll of a thousand people across many demographic groups, included people's favorite fictional pie makers. Sweet Todd. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> who's, who, who's a fictional pie maker? Any other guesses? Uh... That witch that I would say put... I would say fictional characters who may be known to make a pie here and there, like the granny from Looney Tunes. Yeah, that or kind of thing, but it's not her. Uh, I'll just tell you actually because you're not gonna get here. Carol Brady, number one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Um, Claire Huxtable is number two. These are just moms. Yes, that's right. I'm I'm surprised by this, although it was from 2008. Brie Vandy Camp is number three, who is from uh, Desperate Housewives. Marsha Cross's oh. character on Desperate Housewives. Uh, number four is Deborah Barone, as in Deborah. <laughs> um, and number five is Marge Simpson. <laughs> so these, they're just. But you're right. The just... Looney Tunes granny, or like some old 1920s early animation granny, is like the actual answer. <laughs> yeah, and it should be putting a pie in a windowsill, and the stink lines go out, and it makes a dog be like, Ooh. yeah. Uh, that's those aren't pie makers. Those are just famous TV moms. Yeah. Uh, That's funny is, you say that because the next one says, finally, this being a survey conducted at the behest of a pie-making company, there was one more poll. Who makes the best pie? Number one, 27% of the vote was mom. Mm-hmm. Number two, with 26% of the vote narrowly edged out by mom, is store-bought convenience pies. And number uh-huh. three, with only 17%, is grandma. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think grandma got fucked on that one. Yeah. <laughs> And grandma's also a mom. That's so like, true. That's so, kind of, so she, she talk about squares and rectangles. <laughs> I was gonna say grandma wins twice actually because she's talk mom and grandma. Talk about simulation and simulacra. <laughs> yeah, she's the idea of a mom, yeah. and she's and she's a mom. She was a once grandma. a mom and remains a mom, but that's not her identity. Yeah, not anymore. She's sort of like a retired woman making a bunch of pies now. I like that. Like also, that's kind of a scary thing to be like, who makes the best pies? Mom. Yeah, mom does. It's like which. <laughs> Who's that? A thousand people answered and went, Mom, Mommy. Mom. And then all the moms are as, as one are like, yes. Yes, we, we did. We are mom. We are mom. We make pie. <laughs> um, grandmas. So what uh, What other Star Wars-y things do we want to uh, think like give give this, this topic credit for? Are pies Star Wars? I mean, yes, the answer is. But how Star Wars are pies? Um... You I know? would say sneaking around, there's not very much of. There's, there's. If you're a new listener, there's a lot of standby uh, rubric elements that we look at to measure if something Star Wars. And Star Wars always has sneaking around. This one does yeah, not. I was, I was about to look up the rubric, but I think we can just kind of go through that We did say that, that pizza got a pretty high score, and it is a pie, pizza pie. 
That's true. Um, but pizza is far more universally adored, I would say, than pie. Although, yeah, universal adulation is not what Star Wars makes. <laughs> Does not right, but, Star Wars make? I should have said universal <laughs> awareness and universal consumption. Yes, but and, but, and, and ubiquitousness. Like, polarization is Star Wars yeah. points. We said that already, but we did. We is did. Is there uh, pie uh, music other than cherry uh, pie? American pie. American you pie. Know. Um, Which there is there is a Star Wars version of that song by that's Weird Al. True. <laughs> the um, there's not really characters. There's not really like archetypal characters for Pi. No. There's not a other than of really course a, cooling a pie on the windowsill. That's like and, sort of yeah, an right. archetype. Yeah, that is the that is actually the hero's journey. Is there is a <laughs> there's a whole part of the heroes. Joseph Campbell was like in between the de- the dark night of the soul. Right after that is. Smell a pie, stink lines, and float on the air stink until you go to the lines. pie. <laughs> it's a very important part of the journey. Yeah, maybe the maybe the like smell ghost wisp itself turns into a finger and it like beckons yeah. you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> that's good. Uh, I mean, that is like a trope. I I don't think it gets it like a ton of points, but no. No, I mean, yeah, pies do have the trope of like putting it on the windowsill, like don't don't go to the pie or whatever, like don't right. eat the pie. There's of um, course American Pie, the movie franchise, which I think right. kept going to diminishing returns. There is, you know, what I think I think the thing that is weirdly like knocking it down points is the fact that there's such a different American version versus global version. Mm, you yes. know what I mean? Because it's like, although I guess you could make the argument that like we took other traditions and then mm-hmm. created something new which is pretty star wars to be like yeah. here's a new sort of genre taking old stuff and making it new so maybe maybe i actually go back on that that is maybe adding some points um but it's still gonna be low because it's a it's a food it's a pie yeah it is a it's circle. a dessert it is a circle and there star are wars is circles, circles. star wars star wars is circles is star wars dessert or is star wars a meal. Mm, that's a really, really good question. Because listeners I think tweeted it, us at how Star Wars is it on Twitter and let us know if you uh-huh. think Star Wars is a dessert or a meal. <laughs> because I think like it kind of depends. Like it's probably a case by case basis. But I feel like in general, Star Wars is kind of like a meal. It's like, but it's like it's not like a healthy meal. Yeah, no, it's like I would say it's at like best, fast food. it's like chilies. Yeah, 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 for sure. Applebee's, that kind yeah, of, yeah. like, range. But because it, it doesn't feel dessert. Like, dessert, a dessert movie feels like a maybe a light comedy or something really, like, mm. you know, fluffy and light. Or or even, like, a slasher, like, schlocky bee flick, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I was going to say, I think of a dessert as being smaller than a meal. So I almost am picturing, like, some kind show. of, like, I don't know how this would be something, but, like, a 50 minute long movie. <laughs> yeah. Or a 70 minute long movie. Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't feel like, I don't feel like Star Wars is dessert in most I wonder ways. If, if I would even, I, I'm, I'm walking that back. I don't think any movie is dessert. It might be candy. It might yeah. be like insubstantial in the sense that it's like, you're not, you know, it might be McDonald's. It might not be like the healthiest meal, but I don't think movies by their nature of being like long and digestible could be desserts. I, yeah. I, I guess if I'm, if, if, if you will, if you will allow the, the buy-in of the premise of let's say, let's, let's say that all movies are some part of a meal, <laughs> whether that's appetizer, entre- entree or dessert. Got it, yeah. But I do agree. Cause I, I, the idea of having to do a movie after something else, like once you've eaten a full course, something else is like, I would never do that. Movies right. are too long. Right. Like, even if it's a light fluffy thing, I'm like an hour and a half yeah. of something else after I've done something. You know what like I mean? I watched I Lord of the Rings, two towers for dinner. And then for dessert, I watched drive. <laughs> like you did. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like you need to do something else. Like that's too long, long of a day. movie. <laughs> Like that first movie is long <laughs> yeah. and that's like five hours of movie that you watch total. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be kind of low. I feel like I'm get, I'm ready to give it a rating. Yeah. I think so too. Um, what's your unit of measure going to be? I think it's going to be like individual strips of crust that you weave into a lattice on the top of a pie. Good. Mine. That's good. Mine's going to be the little like 
um, r- rivet, rigid, like oh yeah, the wiggly rib ridges on the outside. Thing. Yeah, mm-hmm, where you like push it in, uh-huh. which I learned how to do last year, which was fun. Um, but I think I'm gonna give it like a high two. Like maybe a three. Yeah, I mean, like I, I certainly think three feels like it's pushing it. But yeah, if it maybe like a high two. Yeah, I think like the highest two you can think of, or in in um the parlance of the game that I've been playing so much of lately, God of War. You might have a piece of armor that is at level two, and then you can up it to two plus. Yes, yes, exactly. I would say that. <laughs> um, which is I think about right. Yeah. So two, two little ridges on the outside. Uh, but yeah, really mine's strong. got two strips, so it's just like a plus sign on top of like exposed <laughs> yeah. apples. <laughs> yeah, and it's like this pie is not good. Like they forgot, they forgot a lot of it. Yeah. They forgot to make part of it. Um, well, it's about time to wrap up. We're getting done early tonight. Feeling fresh. It's seven thirty, baby. Yeah, dude. So let's uh, let's see. Do you want us on the internet? Because if you do, you can find us at How Star Wars Is It on Twitter and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, send us an email. Yeah, we, us, we did us just if... get some good tweets lately, and I imagine we've probably gotten some good emails, too. Sorry, I cut you off there. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, just Mike said earlier to tweet at us about if uh, Star Wars is a dessert or a meal. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have gotten some pretty good emails. This one is from Manolo Benetti. Uh, hello, user. Your yearly product <laughs> membership for Norton 360 Protection has been renewed and updated successfully. Uh-huh. The amount charged will be available within the next 24 to 40 hours on your profile of account. Um, so then it's just an invoice saying how much we owe. <laughs> so, Mike, I don't know what we're supposed to do about this because I didn't even know we had Norton 360. That's that's a um, good email to get. Though. That's a fun email. you emails. can send an email like that. In fact, if you're listening this far, uh, send an email to us at agoodpodcast at gmail.com and do your best to make your own creative phishing scam. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, and, and if you can send us, hold on, we, we owe... Two hundred seventy-four dollars and sixty-two cents. So, like, if you guys want to send us that much for this invoice, yeah, for this uh, product that we didn't know we had, that would be great. You can give it to us in monthly installments at Patreon.com/slash yes. How Star Wars Is It. You can head over there. We do a monthly commentary and a weekly bonus episode yeah, that for is just, just the fun. cost of like a slice of pie once a month. Yeah. A, 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 like a good uh, like like cafe slice of pie. Yeah, like you that's you all can hear a, a weekly half hour long bonus episode plus a monthly commentary track of different Star Wars movies. We've done like something like five or six at this point now. I think we've um, done six. Yeah. So there's lots of hours of us talking on there, including the one we recorded this evening, which is. Uh, started with me and Josiah talking about us not feeling well, and then we talked about the Muppets for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so if that sounds good to you, and I, I, I don't know how it would, and I then pray you should it does. check it out. <laughs> and I pray it does. But yeah, that's, I think that's what everything is. It's about time for Tubby Bye Bye. I'd say it's time for Tubby Bye Bye. <laughs> well, we're going to get to bed early tonight, and. Tubby Pie uh, Pie. Tubby Pie Pie? Ooh. Like the custard, tubby custard. That's kind oh, of a yeah. pie. Yeah. Mm, tubby, so, tu- tubby custard, tubby toast. Tubby custard. Like we always say. <laughs> We love you. you. (laughs) And may the fourth be with you. Pie! Pie! (laughs)